If you are thinking of going to Vietnam, then this video will give you all the possible information that you need. Like which SIM card to buy, how to get around, where to stay and eat. We spent 30 days exploring Hanoi, Sapa, Da Nang and Hoi An. So we will be sharing some tips and expenses of our trip to Vietnam. Hi, I am Ami and this is my partner Sagar and we quit our job this year in March to travel around the world for 625 days. We chose Booking.com, Agoda and Airbnb for our accommodations mm. and we found out that it has everything um, from as little as $30 per night to $100, $200 per night. And our budget, we are budget friendly travelers, right? So our budget was um, between $30 to $50. Mm. And still we managed to stay at some of the amazing um, locations. Like in Sapa, our homestay was very dreamy. Mm. Um, and we only spent $30 per night, yes, per night right. for both of us. Mm. And uh, Same in, with Hoi An. Yeah, in Hoi An, um, it was like a homestay, but it was giving like the hotel kind of a vibe. Um, but we had a very spacious room. Mm. Our breakfast was included, um, as well as the bicycle. And we and, had our swimming pool as well. Yeah, um, but if you have more budget, then you definitely can uh, splurge on more luxurious accommodation. Um, mm. We will link our accommodation in the description below. But the way we um, tend to look for our stays is we prefer to stay with uh, locals. Uh, not with locals, but we prefer to stay within local area. Yeah, that's right. Mm. So like in Hanoi, we found uh, that uh, Old Quarter was the best place for us to stay yeah. because everything was very nearby and also where all the locals were staying as well so yeah. you can get you get to see you know hustle and bustle of uh, all the local people what they do in the morning what they have for breakfast and everything so it was really cool so we spent um 818 new zealand dollar for both of us for our 30 day in vietnam for our accommodation we are big on eating local food. If we like it or not, we're gonna first try different things and then we will pick what we like. <laughs> That's true. And then we're gonna keep eating it for <laughs> over and over again. That's what we did in Hanoi because we liked pho and bancha so much that we kept on eating. And, and banh mi. Oh, and banh mi, yes, of course. And that uh, curry sort of, not curry, but remember that uh, mushroom thing with bread? What does it call? I don't know, but it it was like a hot plate. Oh, yes, hot plate. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh, ah, I'm st I'm starving now. <laughs> but anyway, on, uh, Vietnam's food delicious. But at the same time, they are not that expensive. It's budget friendly and um, like uh, bancha and four chicken four that we were trying uh, it was costing us around six to seven New Zealand dollar mm. per plate and I mean to be honest we were only eating at the um, stalls like as a street food mm. right we weren't going to any restaurants particularly in Hanoi mm. so that's why it was costing us less Hanoi has a street food culture but we didn't see much in Sapa or Hoi An mm. Mm. And uh, but in Hoi An, we found that it was vegan and vegetarian friendly. Mm. And even though we were eating at all these restaurants and cafes, it was still very budget friendly. I remember there was one vegan restaurant uh, right across our uh, accommodation. Um, they were selling each and every dish, everything, uh, $2 per plate. And uh, if you have a sweet tooth like Sagar, then you are in for a treat because <laughs> oh my god <laughs> in Hoi An uh, what I is... started remembering stuff whenever you <laughs> start saying sweets and I started remembering sweet the one thing we tried in Hoi An I don't know what is, what it, is was, it was made of coconut milk and uh, coconut shreds and jelly 
Uh, it, oh my god. We haven't tried anything like this. And Seriously. it was again, it was one and a half New Zealand dollar per plate. One dessert that we tried in Hanoi was like 60 cents. It was a caramel pudding. Uh, yeah. I, I will again link everything in the description below. Um, for food, I will uh, add like Google Maps um, locations. Honestly, if you are in Hanoi, please just go there. You won't regret it. But these are the things that we actually Ami found. Yeah. And so the way I look for these things, um, so I, I highly rely on Google Maps, first of all. So I look at uh, Google reviews. So I start with the top rated uh, places, right? I look at the reviews. I go through like for the entire year to see how it is. Um, the second way it's is... It's a lot of work, what, what she is doing. I mean, I can't do this. <laughs> then I sometimes like um, go on Instagram and see what is trending uh, food-wise over there. And then they uh, some people leave all the address and like um, locations. So I then go on Google Maps and look at the reviews and stuff. And that's why I narrowed down our options. And sometimes in some countries, you just walk and on the streets and if you see it's a good place you see good hygiene mm. you just go so in, um, on food we spend 692 new zealand dollar for both of us for 30 days that's insane seriously that's insane <laughs> transportation in vietnam is easy mm. um, but it also depends where you are so in Hoi An, Sapa and i guess in Ho Chi Minh as well um, it will be easier for you to rent a bike but if you are not a confident driver, then Grab could be your best next option. Grab, now, there is a Grab bike as well. It's not, yeah. Grab is not only for car, Grab bike. Yeah, mm. so you can sit with them mm. and they will take you around, which is such a cool way to explore the city as well. Um, in Hoi An, mm. if you are in the old quarter, then... Hanoi. Oh, sorry. If you are in Hanoi and if you are staying in the old quarter, then your life will be much more easier because you can just walk mm. everywhere. Yeah. And renting a bike is not that expensive. Mm. Uh, it's only uh, it's only ten ten New Zealand dollar per day yeah. for a rent. Um, but at the same time, if you want to travel interstate, inter regions, then um, there are two options, buses and trains. We prefer trains because we felt uh, trains uh, will be more safer. Mm. And at the same time, we read some reviews um, that uh, a bus ride is more bumpy and the drivers, they sometimes drive recklessly. Mm. So we prefer trains. But at the same time, we took bus from Hanoi to Sapa and we accidentally booked a Lao bus. <laughs> <laughs> and that was the strangest experience ever. <laughs> <laughs> but that ride was good as well. I'm yeah. not saying you shouldn't be taking bus, but uh, it's uh, it depends on person to person. Mm. Uh, trains. There are multiple train numbers. So it starts from SE1 and it goes up to SE27, SE29. I'm not sure. But um, what we experience, if you take, uh, let's say if you take a train from Hanoi to Hoi An, that's, that's what we took. Um, and... Um, your best train would be number SE1 to SE5 because they are the newest of the whole lot. So we travel in second class mm. from Hanoi to Da Nang. Yeah. And then from Da Nang to Ho Chi Minh, we travel first class, which was number SE11. And we had the <laughs> I was dirtiest train yeah. we ever had. I was numb. We are so grateful that we went for the first class. I can't even imagine the situation. In the second class. And I just had a peek at of the toilet. Mm -hmm. I think I'm not going to drink water at all for the next 16 hours. I thought, is this first my class? Life? Yeah, is this the first class? I mean, we were shocked. We were shocked. And whenever you book, so you can go uh, 12 to go Asia and you can book your trains and buses but you can go to the stations um, yourself and book uh, a train but whenever you book bus through um, these companies we preferred inter bus line which mm. was a really good company and 
ask for the upper berth mm. because that way you will have window. Mm. We accidentally chose the lower berth and it didn't have any window. Mm. I mean it had but we couldn't see anything. But unfortunately with 12 to go Asia you will be allocated as per the availability. You won't have any choice but if you go to the station you can ask for these options. And um, airport transfers. Um, uh, we don't, we have, we couldn't find any public transport that is good enough to travel from airport to your accommodation. So the best bet is a uh, grab car. And with that, you're gonna have to pay a bit extra for the airport departure fee. Fee, fee, or airport departure or arrival fee or something yeah. like that. Yeah. yeah. So um, when you land to Hanoi, right, and you are at this airport and you are, as you are going out, there will be heaps of drivers mm. waiting for you and they will try to give you a good deal um, that's what happened with us they were telling us cheaper prices than grab and we made that mistake we actually went with those prices but they didn't disclose that there will be an additional departure um, mm. charge uh, that will we have um, I'm not sure we were scammed or not but mm. um, that was the cost that we didn't know that we have to pay. Mm. So when you are just landed, uh, this sort of things can put you off. So be simple, use the Grab app so you know you are not getting scammed by one of these people. And for transportation, we spend 570 New Zealand dollar for both of us. It really depends where you want to go and how much you want to spend. Um, so like in Hanoi, if you want to go to museums and any of the temples, there will be a little uh, admission fee. It's only gonna be a couple of New Zealand dollars. Yeah. yeah, it's it's really cheap. But if you are in Sapa and in Da Nang and if you're planning to go to the Fancy Pen Mountain or like in Bana Hills, then it will cost you $50 per person to go up to um, those places. But it's totally worth it. I mean, we skipped Fancy Pen Mountain mm. and... Now that we think of, we could have done, done it. it. Yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, total cost of all of our activities in 30 days was only $281 New Zealand dollars. And best app to you know book those activities would be Kluk because Kluk has the variety of activities included. Yeah. And, and it has got like Kluk um, pass that will give you um, like discount on multiple bookings like a bundle deal and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, and also with clock, like just for example, in Bana Hills, we don't have to wait in a queue to buy the ticket for the Bana Hills because Bana Hills was uh, really crowded. Yeah, and it saves you to um, carry that much of cash as well. Um, and if it saves you from those credit card transactions as mm -hmm. well. When you land in a brand new country, the first thing you will need is a SIM card. At the moment, we are using an eSIM uh, from Eskimo but it is expensive so we only use it uh, when we really have to use it <laughs> but most of the time we try to find a sim card a local sim card I bought a uh, sim card from Kluk which costed me around 16 New Zealand dollar and I could pick it up from the airport and it was giving me 3 GB per day mm -hmm. which was more than enough for me for 30 days for 30 days uh, we bought sim card for army from a local shop which, which was, was a mistake. Mm, which was giving us a uh, 7 gb per day for 30 days but it stopped working after 25 days and then we looked online it's a very common scam in vietnam so they tell you that it is for 30 days but it it can stop working anytime between 7 to 10 days yeah. mine worked at least 15 days also my, uh, the one that we were given it had only um, data so that i couldn't call or text mm. um, so the your best bet is to go to like the proper mobile phone or vietl store mm. and get it from there now alcohol <laughs> we love beers and wine it will cost you only one new zealand dollar for a beer and, and the, cheapest. the cheapest one will cost you 70 cents and if you want to look for those convenience shops then Winmart and circle would be your best bet mm. they have 
pretty much everything that you will need and the beers they are so cheap over there yeah but uh, it will cost you a bit more because it's uh, it's uh, i guess it's mainly for tourists because we went to uh, you know local grocery store Oh yeah, and yeah, that, you're was, right. uh, that was that really was cheaper, cheap, cheaper than, than these stores. But yeah. you you can't find that local grocery store. It's everywhere, very hard yeah. to find. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but instead, uh, Circle and Winmart is everywhere, and mm. it has pretty much everything that you need. Okay, last, we have Wise debit card. Now that debit card, it also is a travel card, has made our life real easy. Um, with this debit card, you can load up multiple currencies. And this card has the lowest conversion fee. Mm. We have saved a lot of money. Yeah, and our ATM withdrawal as well. It has the lowest transaction fees. Sadly, it's not available in India. But if you are outside of India, you will find this Wise debit card, and it will change your life as well. If you want to travel somewhere else. Yeah, and even if you want to travel for five days, three days, or for longer travel, Wise will be very easy to use. Mm. Um, and the app is hassle free and we will put a link in the description below so you can check out yourself okay. now the total cost of our 30 day vietnam trip was 2628 new zealand dollar that comes out to 44 new zealand dollar per day per person And that is like 27 USD per day per person. Oh my God, this is the cheapest country we have ever been to.